So I just finished programming the last operation on the titanium regulator from Oceanic. This thing is amazing. There's a lot of ports and threads coming from all different angles. That's why I'm using the IMCO tools to get in there and get all the material out. They're awesome tools. They help me compete with the world. We created this awesome fixture. I screwed the titanium regular onto it, locked it down with a bolt. We have it setting into a fifth axis fixture from the guys down at fifth axis. Those guys make some beautiful equipment. I got the Autodesk cam software up here. I'm gonna simulate the tool. You can see it taking the cuts right here and the tool is gonna walk around. But in the machine, the tool is gonna stay stationary and just move around and the fifth axis is actually going to move. Once I know that everything is absolutely dialed, we didn't crash or anything. I'm gonna create the G code that's gonna run the machines. I'm gonna get it out to Dana. This part is a very difficult part to machine. We have to have mirror finishes. There's a lot of ceiling surfaces here and you can't even have the slightest bump. You got hoses coming in. They're breathing off it. Their life is dependent on it. They're dropping to crazy depths into the ocean and everything is gonna rely on the exact fact that we machined it perfect and that it is straight up American quality. Dana's gonna run an aluminum part, then he's gonna run a titanium part, and then we're gonna get it into Sean, he's gonna inspect it. Once all the dimensions spec out and we know that everything is dialed, the finishes are perfect, then we'll run the rest of the parts. Then I'm gonna jump in my truck tomorrow morning, run down to the Bay Area, show it to the team down at Oceanic. They're gonna be amazed. They're gonna hook this thing as a lifeline. They're gonna breathe from it, drop down to the depths of the ocean. It's gonna be epic. It's gonna be amazing. Boom! Just finished my first titanium part for Oceanic. Tough little part, it's got some tight, tight tolerances. It's got 10 thousandths diameter hole. You can barely even see it. Tough to do in titanium. Gonna get it into Sean for inspection and hopefully he gives me the green light to run the rest of them. I used to dive in Hawaii growing up and I'm jumping in the water down here in Monterey, California in the winter time. And I'm having to remember not to hold my breath. 